So we're here with uh, Billy Goodcat, uh, local Owen Sound artist, and uh, he's just recently completed a large mural project called Window to the World, a joint project between the Tom Thompson Art Gallery and the Roxy Theatre. Uh, Billy, uh, we're, we want to talk about the, the mural project, but can you tell us a bit about your, your history and uh, uh, your, you know, your beginnings in uh, spray paint and mural projects sure and, and your artwork? Sure. Um, well, I started uh, spray painting with my wee brother, basically, when I was about 14, 15. Now, where was this? Uh, back in Belfast, yes. Northern Ireland. Okay. So, the old country. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I mean, we he was the one who got into it first, and then I did, and I just, uh, like, I would lapse out of it for a bit, and then get back into it again, and then he stopped, but I continued painting, so. Well, uh, what, I mean, what what type of work were you uh, starting to do? Well, it was, like, obviously, with any if you're getting into spray paint, it starts in kind of the graffiti world, let's say, so, uh, like, that's how it began, but, I mean, it's, like, slowly gone out of that obviously right and uh so it was all about like like you know the pure graffiti style stuff and then like as i got more and more bored with that and i wanted to kind of find more challenging things to do i started trying to like do pictures and more interesting like la uh not landscapes but you know imagery basically with right. spray paint so uh yeah that's how it, like what uh what type of surfaces were you using uh well it was all on walls <laughs> all on walls and no like, is that why you've immigrated to canada <laughs> <laughs> could be all the concrete walls <laughs> no um uh like back in belfast all the businesses and stuff have shutters on them big metal shutters so yeah. uh you know i got back from uni and uh like started looking for jobs doing like shutters and like people's shops and stuff like that so it was like either like brick walls or like metal like kind of surfaces so that was really so you you were going out and and yeah talking to the business yeah. owners saying hey let's it, yeah it actually started with a cafe um a friend of my brother's uh like owned this cafe back in belfast it was a really class cafe and uh, he wanted his shutters done and uh, the inside of his shop all spray painted so i did all these mad colors and flew around the shop and put his uh, like a big picture on the front of his uh, shop and things like that so that's how I began, and then from that I realized, you know, I could, uh, you know, go out and get jobs doing this. So I just, we used to walk around looking, like, for different people who might want their shutters painted, because they're big, brood, ugly things. Right, yeah. You know, so it was, like, the perfect surface to add a bit of color to, and, <laughs> you know, so. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's good crack. So in, t in terms of the, uh, the graffiti world, uh, did you find uh, in your home country of Ireland that there, there was a different culture around it? or? Uh, well, there's, there's the kind of um, artistic mural world, in, let's say, in Belfast, and then there's the graph world. Um, like, there's a lot of murals in Belfast. They're all over the place. Like, it's a big part of the culture over there. And like each community uses murals to express their point of view and uh you know what they believe or you know people that they like like or whatever mm -hmm. so like it's a really like kind of outdoor art outdoor murals and graph is a big thing over there so are you coming to Owen sound yeah you, it's you, totally different although there is like i've noticed like you know around ontario there is a lot of murals yeah. but uh yeah it's not all clustered into one place or you know it's all quite spread out uh, like canada's a huge country right, right. so <laughs> <laughs> i mean no wonder but um yeah uh the the murals kind of in belfast like it's there's kind of like clusters of them together and like big gable side walls of houses are painted the gable wall of houses are painted right um you know and there's uh like you know like there's a political side to it as well like right. this isn't the graph world in belfast this is there is a polit there's political art as well over there right um and you know that if you go into community you can immediately tell if there's you know what that community is about just by the art that's on the walls right so uh i mean that's very blatant and obvious and you know you're very aware of it right um in terms of graffiti over there um yeah graffiti is a really big thing and there's some great graph artists like with a like you know high level of skill like mm -hmm. with a spray can with a spray can 
Um, and there used to be graph artists who come from like different parts of the world to spray paint mural, like spray paint graph, and you right. know, take part in graffiti jams and that kind of thing. So, uh, me and my wee brother, when we were painting, we used to go down to these things every so often and uh, check them out, and you know, right. It was quite the sight, you know, have like graph artists from like New Zealand, Australia, like you know, America, like hanging out in like <laughs> part like <laughs> Ireland spray paint. And it was pretty crazy. So in addition to the uh, the the street art and and yeah. outdoor work, uh, you, you also use uh, spray painting techniques on uh, like canvas yeah. and, and other yeah. sort of you know traditional. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I kind of got tired of just the whole graffiti thing. And uh, I wanted a bit of a challenge, and uh, you know, I saw like so I started making my own canvases and stuff, and they were pretty haphazard, obviously, when you're first starting out, and you mm -hmm. don't have a foggy <laughs> what you're doing. And uh, you know, like, so I, I kind of moved into portraiture, I guess, like, uh, like because I saw like painting portraits is a like the biggest challenge to paint something photorealistically for me was like that that's where I wanted to. You know, try and hone my like try right. and hone my scale or whatever. No, is there a challenge uh, going from sort of larger scale to say smaller work uh, with spray well, paint? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, to paint like well, that's another thing. Like I started trying to do was to paint as small as I could, like see how small I could paint right. with a spray can, because obviously it lends itself more to bigger like bigger scale things. So I was, you know, I would make a canvas, you know, like this size and see if I could paint a picture on it. You know, and how'd and, that uh, go? Oh well, <laughs> you learn along the way, right, like right. that's for sure. Um, like so, I obviously started finding different wee tricks for how I could cut and make details a lot smaller, and do like even like the glisten in an eye and that kind of thing. Right. And uh, like I, I mainly like when I got into doing canvas stuff, um, canvas work, I, I largely started painting in black and white. Like, I, I just, I, I didn't think to myself, I'm going to go and paint in black and white, but I was like, a, just a subconscious thing. So I started working in black, which is with mono, monotone colors, like, you know, five shades of one color or black and white and doing pictures that way right. to start with. And then I obviously, once I kind of like, I felt anyway more comfortable doing that, then I started working in color more. So, uh, it was, um... Yeah, but uh, it was largely black and white portraiture. It right. was actually where where I ended up for a while. So and uh, now it's kind of moved out of that and I'm like kind of I guess I'm going more towards people and in, in in landscapes and in different environments. Okay. So. Now, uh, so since uh, moving to Owen Sound, and by by the way, how how long have you been in Owen Sound? Uh, just over three years. Three now. years, okay. So since coming to Owen Sound, uh, have you have you found opportunities to uh, yeah. to do some wall work and oh, yeah. outdoor work? I mean, like it seems to be there seems to be tons of opportunities over here, um, especially like uh, like for one thing, you've got a large like amount of concrete walls over here, so it's perfect for out, art outdoor <laughs> art, you know. Um, and also, uh, I think uh, a lot of people want to see like outdoor art and like want to see murals around there, like where they're living and stuff. Because I mean, if you can make some a concrete like grey drab outdoor wall look like nice, then yeah, who wouldn't want to see that? Right. So, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunities for so mural it, work. Um, where can we find your work around town? Uh, well. Um, recently, uh, I completed a couple of pieces. Um, there's one on the back of the Roxy Theatre. That was a collaborative project right. um, with me, between me and seven other artists. And uh, the Tom Thompson was involved, the Roxy Theatre and the Artist Co-op. Um, and I also did a, a job for a um, restaurant in town on 10th Street right. called Vill Villanino Bistro. So, right. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit more about the specifically about the the window to the world project? Sure. Uh, it was collaborative, sure. uh, but there were, it was also sort of an educational. Yeah, yeah, it was project. A, it was a mix of both because there was uh, seven or eight other artists, and they um, we were all involved uh, with designing these different windows. That were, it was basically, you know, 
we were given this theme called theater is a window to the world right. right so we went with that and came up with this these different designs each artist designed their own picture and then i put them all together with my own designs kind of like throughout it what to, to who, who were the artists were they um like uh, it was a mentorship program yeah it was like um uh just people like well there's some artists were like in college and right. others you know are graphic designers and like from all all streams of art really okay. and uh you know like they hadn't spray painted before but obviously they're involved in art in other ways right so it was like really uh, when it came to the spray paint, it was like teaching them to spray paint and mm -hmm. trying to, you know, pass on little bits of what I had learned to them kind of thing. Right. Um, but uh, in terms of the design, like, uh, like we created a story, like, from the theme that we were given. Uh, and it basically was to tell the story of theatre from left to right, if you look at the mural. Uh, it tells the story of theatre, like a theatre production coming to life. Okay. So um, it starts with the idea, the concept, and then um, the director taking that idea and like all the choices the director has to make. So that's like the imaginative um, kind of, you know, imaginary side of things. And then the, there's a window just after that and it's uh, like the rehearsal. So it's all in front of empty seats. There's no one in the audience. Right. And like those windows at the beginning are like one perspective. So they're all set on an angle. And it's like the theater company's perspective, and then the face-on perspective in the center is all famous shows, and it's all about the actors and that kind of thing. And then the last perspective, which you know, goes away at another angle, is uh, you know the show being acted out in front of an audience. So uh, you know it's it kind of tells the right. story of like you know a production coming to life. Right. You know, so that was okay. that's what that was. Now, in, in terms of, uh, you know, you, you mentioned that the, the, the participants, the artists do have some background in the arts, but yeah. it was an opportunity to learn a new skill. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how do you go about teaching, teaching somebody people. how to uh, wield a spray paint and, uh, uh, and make art? <laughs> well, I mean, first you need to understand the basics of what the spray can does, uh, you know, like get you part. A lot of it is like you learning by just doing it yourself right but right. You, you have to understand the pr basic principles like the different caps that are involved in it yeah uh the weight of the can like pressure like distance from the wall all these like aspects to it that you wouldn't consider like you know when you're like let's say painting with a paintbrush yeah you know so you need to understand the principles and uh a, a lot of it is like um just getting used to the movement of the can and getting used to your arm movement because obviously it's like your arms your your whole arms involved it's right. not just the spray can right and because you're painting on a larger scale you have to get used to that flow and uh like working within you know yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so, so. Uh, how, how did the uh how did the participants respond uh well uh uh, obviously, some of them were very busy with other things, but uh, one of them was uh, there every day. Well, and there was another girl that was there almost every day helping. So um, I mean, it was quite amazing actually to see the progression from begin like from the start of the project to the end of the project because right. from going to barely making a nice crisp line just to like you know fuzzy craziness on yeah. the wall. It was like by the end they were making good crisp lines and had much more can control. And you know it was quite uh, pleasing to see. It was yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it it, responded well. it kind of relates uh, earlier where you say that uh, you know as a youngster you kind of follow yeah. in the footsteps of your older brother and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, it was uh, it was well, my younger brother. Your, your younger started, brother, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I suppose you're uh, like you you're you're picking up something that someone else is showing you and then you're passing it on. Right. You know. So. Yeah. It's good to be able to do that, yeah. and uh, it was really enjoyable. Absolutely.